All right, you got a. What do you got down here, Matt? Oh man, it looks like a nice big beaver. Uh, got this first crossover in this place. I didn't set up the first night because when you trap in these big sections, I like to get clear back into a place and start setting my way out versus set my way in and get back and not have traps. And uh, so it looks like it was successful. I was hoping to pick up an otter maybe, but I'll go for the beaver. That's what they're paying us for. <laughs> so this is a, a lot of times crossovers will be right on these corners of uh, these old fish ponds like this. And uh, usually when I'm looking, if I'm looking for otter, you look around to see if there's throw up or else they'll make wads of grass and stuff. Like you can see that clump and there's a few more around just wads of grass. I don't know why the otter do that, but. That's otter right there? That wad of grass? Oh, and they're, they're vomiting in it? Not that one, but like right behind you, they'll make a clump of grass. And you can tell right here is some of their vomit. They'll spit up like crawfish, exoskeletons and scales, all the stuff they can't digest. So if you get looking around, here's some more otter throw up right there. So that's just a good sign that you're on location for those incidental otter catches while you're beaver trapping. But anyway, let's take care of this beaver. <laughs> and if I'm setting on the dry, I like to make sure I give enough wire to get my animal into the water because coyotes will eat your beaver and stuff every once in a while. That's, that's a nice one. That's probably a two-year-old beaver. All right. One yeah. trap, one beaver. Yeah, it's always nice to have something in your first set. It's a good way to start the day. And I'm, I'm betting we're going to see man, mostly body grip traps out of you and your dad. Because <laughs> uh, you guys are really experts with using conna bears. Yeah. Or that's... body grips. Body grips are my go-to. This is a Belial 280, but we've got all, you know, every brand and make a 280 or 330. They all work. And all the sets I'm making are simple sets anyone can make. It's just a matter of knowing what you're looking for and getting out there and doing it. And just lining stuff up. And when you say crossover, we're talking about going over this little road the four-wheeler is on and into that next little drainage, correct? Yep. They're, a crossover is cro yep, crossing from one body of water to another. And, uh... and sometimes people, crossovers are used real commonly on dams, yeah, be beaver almost, dams. Almost every, if the beaver have a series of dams, those middle dams will have crossovers because they got to get from one section of the creek to the next. And those are a really good set for picking up beaver, otter, muskrat, nutria. And like I said, that's one of these simple sets. And just takes a little blocking. With beaver and otter, you usually hardly even have to worry about the top of the conda bear. But just like that, we're back in business. <laughs> One down. All right. <laughs> Hopefully awesome. there will be some more.